Hi there everyone, in this video we are going to look at the electrophilic substitution mechanism for the chlorination of benzene. Now I've put the overall equation at the top, so we've got benzene reacting with a molecule of chlorine in the presence of aluminium chloride, which is known as a halogen carrier, it's a catalyst, and that forms a product chlorobenzene and a byproduct of HCl. Let's look at the mechanism then. So what's happening here is that as a molecule of chlorine approaches the benzene ring, the electrons in the benzene ring are repelling the electrons in this chlorine molecule. So a dipole, a charge difference is formed across this chlorine. And that dipole is further helped by the presence of the aluminium chloride catalyst. So the aluminium in this catalyst is very electron deficient and it's really strongly attracted to the delta negative end of this chlorine molecule and it's pulling the electrons towards that end even more strongly. So we've got two things that are inducing this dipole in the chlorine molecule. So this delta positive chlorine that acts as the electrophile and the electrons from the delocalized ring in benzene, two electrons from that ring move to form a bond with this chlorine. That causes the chlorine-chlorine bond to break and the other chlorine attaches to aluminium chloride and that forms an aluminium chloride ion, a negative ion. In the next bit we have a positively charged intermediate. Since two electrons from the benzene ring have moved to form a bond to chlorine, that breaks the ring so we've got a partially broken ring here, which means we have a positive charge as well. And this hydrogen here, that was always there. This is a type of skeletal formula where we have carbons at each point and one hydrogen that's coming off each carbon, we just don't show them. The reason we've shown the hydrogen here is because now it's involved in this step. So this aluminium chloride ion that was formed here, that will pick up a hydrogen from the ring, which causes the carbon-hydrogen bond to break and the electrons from that bond will move to reform the ring and remove that positive charge. So we end up with our stable ring reformed and our product, which is chlorobenzene. And we also form a byproduct of HCl as well, and we regenerate the catalyst. 